Hi, and welcome back to uh, Vampire. I almost said the evil within here, but no, it's Vampire. Um, I've been waiting for a little bit uh, until Tippets is going to his location for me to spy on him. So luckily I didn't have to wait too long. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this one, yeah. Damn it! Why is this so difficult every time? That is better. That is better. I will make it through one more night. So basically, he's uh, he's not getting very much sleep, so he's uh, pumping himself full of full of drugs, basically to to stay tip top, as they say. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically where I left off, uh, doing the same thing. I'm trying to get all the hints and all that stuff to get their blood quality up. And um, the, the idea of it then is that I'm going to drain them of all their blood and use their blood to level up really quickly to become super become super powerful. And, uh, basically, I forgot what I was saying. That public notice getting in my way. Uh, basically so as well that I do not have a relationship with what's-her-face. Lady Ashbury. The kind Lady Ashbury. Who I love. Uh, let's see, I have to... Yeah, yeah, I'll get talking to you soon enough. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Let's see. Good evening, Doctor. Dr. Re I know you're taking drugs, Corcoran. Why take such a risk? I Corcoran. To it's the long Corcoran. Shifts. I never noticed that before. We have no idea how long the epidemic will last. We can't let it win. Corcoran. Okay, now is this one that, uh... Actually matters to anything. Uh, lemon, blah blah blah. Tibet, Tibet. You could be fired. This could be a long. This can't be a long-term solution. Uh, it doesn't look like. Yeah, it doesn't look like this one actually affects anything. So you could just say whatever you want. So how can you For be so irresponsible? What are you thinking? How can you be so irresponsible? Irresponsible? I am devoted to my work. I am doing this for all the patients who need our help. I cannot abandon them. I think I said, like, you could be fired uh, in my other playthrough. Goodbye, Doc. All right, so that's, uh, that's that hint from him. Uh, okay, we've that guy. And where is, uh, where's Brannigan? Because she's the other link. To Good evening, nurse. Dr. Swansea Oops. has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Uh -huh. I'm just reading through the ask like personal questions. Tippett's medical error. Uh, at the end of Dr. Tippett's investigation, Okay, so I need to. Okay, okay. Uh, just reading through that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Your life in London. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. Not vampires, surely. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. 
We could all do with a good night's sleep. She's apologizing for being poetic. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? Shouldn't apologize we are all for volunteers here. And we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible? How is he kid? so fucking tall? Some nurses tall. have already resigned. She's just she's looking at his tie. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about that? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. But yes, they all have some kind of a problem. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. Mm. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Oh. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Are they, though? Are they, though? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Miss Brannigan. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Some people in this hospital are fair sketchy, so they are. Good evening, Doctor. Doctor Reed, any good news? Good news? No, 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 no. Any, any hints to share? You are exhausted. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about Is preserving that Corcoran your strength. Corcoran kind of properly no. there, a little bit better than the first time. Healing all those Cor poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Well, um... I don't think this was one. You've so nothing to prove, Dr. Tippett, to anybody. And we all praise your experience. Please, have some rest. I am perfectly fine, and I am not too old for this job. Ooh, well, that backfired. Well, they didn't backfire, backfire, but you know what I mean. Yeah, okay, Goodbye, so that's all the hints I can really do for for the owl tippets. Oh, that's right, there's the guy who's stealing from the dead people as well. Oh, he's, he's the first on my list to die. Although this guy here and the nurse in there, they're blackmailing people. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Hi, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, but this guy and the other guy are the shops. I'd like to... Wise choice, Dr. That's the, the tough part. But I can only get Milton's shotgun. I think I can get one better, but... Later on in the game, but Milton's shotgun is a pretty good one. Uh, no, I'm gonna good evening, to Milton. Good evening, Dr. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every it's day. rather blunt. <laughs> Are you really smuggling <laughs> well, weapons through the I have nothing to say. I curse an awful lot as well. I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending Oh, just wait. You're going to be attacked by a vampire at some point. Civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. I like his little Japanese job, armband he's got going on there. Most the Japanese time. flag. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. 
It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Ooh, a threat, eh? Uh, yeah, so we have, uh, we have this investigation, our first uh, investigation. Lovely. So they'll unlock more hints and stuff like that, so they will. Don't have uh, anything here yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, because I've talked Goodbye, to Pippa mate. first before. Because uh, him, uh, him and Pippa have, uh, have something going on. Not just about blackmailing people. Ho oh ho! Alright, I fucked up one of hers before in the last playthrough. I don't want to do that again. Ah, look, it's Sean. How are you, Sean? Good evening, Miss Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after I have enduring... I a follower. Uh, thanks for Thank following, you, Doctor. Adakin. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. I will give you a follow back. There we go. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Let you go or let you in? Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here, this Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help both? his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women <laughs> I feel like just my character is implying And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The Wet Boot Boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance Temporarily, of the Edwina. Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. Even a, even the saddest of saints. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor <laughs> and homeless of the docks. It kind of And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? Wonder has my a deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith, a willing to preach the good word. Someone. Why didn't you use your cross Can't against really William Bishop? Good luck on to repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I, I don't think he's really that 
And then I can go back to the people who need <laughs> That knowledgeable about blood transfusion. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really. But I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Let's be honest here, a lot of people have had a very miserable life in this part game. part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. Bye-bye. Oh, I fucked up his one as well. Now, let's go talk to the guy out here. Because this guy out here is going to be one of the... One of the first people I kill. Hello. Yeah. Hi there. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Not Jadana. Not ever. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Ah, oh, sir, I'm just looking something up very quickly. Why is there no hints for this one? We shouldn't have hints. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we trade. Please show for. me what you have. Of course. It never ceases to amaze me how you, the dead. Good evening. I should have actually listened to what he was saying there. A pawnbroker. Oh, that's right. I have to spy I on him. I expect you get all types of people. But there's yes, something sir. I have to all say to him as well. For I sell all kind of goods. And I got it wrong. Who previously. comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic. Was kind of annoyed even with unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Good people? What, are, what, what kind are you of say? things? With the quarantine, <laughs> it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, where, pray tell, do you get these Are items? Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. Poof. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear or at least have respect for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. And that's one How did you get him? this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Which one is Milton? Oh, that's Milton Hooks, yeah. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. So again, why do you watch these bodies? Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was... 
was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must also, be you're looking relieved. a little dead in the eyes right now. <laughs> uh, oh. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. I hope the people if viewing this don't mind me actually die. going through the story Goodness. again. And I would be just bored. If people haven't worse. actually played an arcade, and I like to be helpful, like sir. Quite that. depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes. Because usually I do run is, through games or. We'll all die before losing our humanity, and, sir. All that stuff. But so you're ready This is a to more story-driven no, game, so I'm not. it's good to actually I don't fear death, for I won't story. see it. Sorry for talking over it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Alright. I think that was it. Goodbye, I can Mr. spy on him. And where is it? I have to go to spy on him. Because he goes in there and he has a wee little... It's in the other window, yeah. So he'll go in there and... I'll get an opportunity to spy on him. From here? I think it's from in here, isn't it? Oh, she's kind of in the way, I think. Go on, Pippa. Get out of here. Get out of here, you. Go on. Shoo. I might as well talk to Pippa while I'm in here. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, that one's not. Alright, so leave that open. So that people can give a read to it. Oh, it's for Pippa. No, he's still not moving. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Okay. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Well, I wish I could believe you. Did kill but what quite if this a lot of people, was though. Worse? <laughs> what if, in the end, nobody was spared? That's a bit of a bleak outlook. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. I will change that. Uh, let's see. I don't think this actually affects anything. Your grip, Spanish flu, your right change here. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Uh, bup, bup. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we just test results away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Call him Milton the Grump. 
Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned, Milton is not the chatty type. I don't know. I have, I have a way of getting answers out of people. I mean, what? Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. Oh, this is one of them. So be proud of what you achieved. Patients need you. I think this is one I got wrong. Did I? I could not have put this. No way did I put that. So apparently you need one of these two. So I'm going to go with that one. You should be proud of what you've achieved. Maybe it wasn't the one that I got this wrong. I got one wrong with it. hope for many I people think. in need oh, of Oh no, help. it wasn't with Maybe them. you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. Yeah, I think I got all the ones with these two, but it was actually Goodbye, with uh, the guy out there. Him. I got one wrong with him for sure. And, oh, he's a four? Oh, that means I won't be able to to get high enough mesmerize level for a while to get him. Damn it, I wanted to kill him first. Crap baskets. You live for now. <laughs> it was these two that I got wrong. So I might as well get these two started. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll go with you first. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. She's a You'll bit never forget crazy. the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Sorry, for some reason I was googling vampire Thelma hints and I got. V vapor. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, I want a three. Okay. Uh. So it's not with her that the problem lied. It was with the guy, I think, then. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. So I'll get what my second like mesmerized whenever I, I... hear my body crumble from the inside city. as my flesh cracks and fades. And then I the sense third from the Sean last Hampton. pulse of pustulant blood within my drying veins. Jesus, I won't get four I need new blood. I get four from him, and then I get the fifth from him. Where do I get six from? I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Easy, easy there, lady. I'm assuming good, you must be a patient. God. <laughs> am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. 
I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Uh-huh. I've got the settings set on this so that I am a match for them. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your no- Oh, she's a two as well? Jesus, everybody's better than fucking Clay Cox. The most useless person in this game, it seems. So just so you guys can get a good read of it. Um, probably once I unlock all the areas as well, I have to go back and through them all and collect all the collectibles. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they oh, still call me Thomas Howard. Thomas. Now it's one of his answers I fucked up. So let's try not to do that again. I, I like in London. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. Do you like your disgusting I just escaped death bed? in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my drift. Is that a lyric from the verb? Because the drugs don't work? Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Oh, you sure sound like you're smiling inside. Uh, let's see. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. I was a doctor, actually. No offense. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. I think we're going to agree on, on that. The outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. I think he has a note or something around here as well, or is that the other patient, I wonder? 
Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mouse there. Where should, there she is. Again. Good evening, Miss Howard. I need blood. There we go. Tell me, Thelma. Why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. And that lets me bite... Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Right, ho, so. I'll leave you, Miss Bill. Shines white there instead of gone grey. Good evening. Evening. I guess it's because there's still things to, to answer. Goodbye for now. Oh no, it's his file, and I don't think I get his file until I go into Dr. Swansea's office. I can't get in there until I do some of the, the quest line. Well, maybe the... No, he's... Oh, good timing. Somewhere in here, I think. Perfect. Well, that was lucky. You don't mind if I search your pockets. Do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. Yes, you I'm are. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir. So it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir. And I thank you for your generous donation. Actually, I don't remember which answer to give as well. I can't find it. So this is... This, this could potentially go wrong. <laughs> I really want to get their blood quality as perfect as possible. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where? Good evening, Dr. Reed. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. Uh, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one doesn't say... Oh, there's the Remember Me wiki thingy. That usually has the uh, the answers on it. Usually. Uh, is two? Hmm. No? Okay. Uh, show you should show for respect dead. for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies exactly. I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. Yeah, but what if somebody comes in a little late or something like that, huh? What do you, what do you, what do, you do then? Please, of course. Let's see what he has. Doesn't really have anything. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive and then sadly depart. I'm managing a train terminal. Yeah, it, I never got anything useful out of his shop whenever I played the previous uh, times, so... Oh, what's this? That's for Milton. That's for me. Alright. 
Time to go and talk to Milton. I'll get to you soon enough, you and Strickland. Yeah, where's, where's good old Milton? There he is. He's a two as well, so I won't be able to Good evening, do anything with Good him evening, yet. Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Damn, Skippy. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know Nobody it's a difficult knows. task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Excuse me, sir. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. It was all Pippa's idea. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. Question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? I swear to God, my cats are just so fucking cute. It's like one is across, across the room from me, rolling over on the chair, her belly up. Oh, she's a big fluffy cat, so she is. Goodbye, Milt. All right, that's uh, Milton. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. So you have to do a lot Goodbye, of this back Nurse and Hawkins. forth type thing, because hints will drop here and there, kind of. Um, right, because we can't get into her yet. She's in that room. I don't think I can get into her just yet. No, it's locked. See? It's locked, all right. How dare they lock me out of a room in this hospital? With you on our side, Doctor Reed, I know that Pembroke will prevail and survive the epidemic. Who the hell's who? Who's telling me that? It's you, Strickland. I know it is. Oh, there's a thing here, and it's out there in the courtyard. No, I've got to get outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we'll not let you down. No. I think I've taken the longest possible route. Almost there. Got it. Whew. I almost didn't make it. But that cuts out a little bit of time, which is good. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. It's all right, you guys won't need to tolerate each other's lies for much longer. I know his blood quality, I know. Not his blood quality, but um, how much mesmerize I need. So far, no matter what, I'm gonna have to at least get to the second part. Because most of everybody is level two, kind of. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My 
throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. You're in like London and... How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all. Cough doctor. drops don't even work anymore. I'll let you get some rest then. Good evening, sir. Excuse me. Don't. Hold on, hold on. I have more Good questions. Good evening, Mr. I'm okay. What are you what are you doing? Don't don't let him get rest. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes. It's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it only started talking to read. five minutes ago. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. And technically, that's true. I need him to be in can I help you good, healthy way, spirits. I wrote really a letter get the most from experience my mother. Out of him. She was supposed to read it after... After my death. But I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. Yeah, I got a key. I think that's... How painful. So painful, I'd rather. Yeah, he still doesn't want to talk to me about it. I have to go now. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. I feel so famous. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more like humble I want her origin, money. if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Oh, no. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Oh. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. A sore throat is Quite a serious matter. I share she your kind of is Mrs. considering the Spanish Be program. sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware mm. such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Well, that's why I want to speak to them, because it's not tolerated here. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. 
Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son I'm needs getting is lots help of good hints out here. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not Their have done. Their blood quality is increasing by the question. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Goodbye. Oh, she's worth 3,000. She's 4? Level 4 mesmerized? What? He's only a 2. Oh, he's suffering from fatigue as well. Ugh. What can I do for you, Doctor? God, it's going to take me ages to get most of these people. Thank you. I thought it would be a little bit quicker. I will not let you down, my boy. Oh yeah, he's got this yoke here. Took me fucking forever to find that the last time. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Sorry. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter, and a good one too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate Kinda yourself, Dr. Like the situation in Ireland. I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. You seem worried nice about the safety healthy, of your family. And it's obviously the reason why good. your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your What peace. were you having for dinner? So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. Jesus, I'm going to feel pretty bad after, this after didn't bring training them this guy of his blood. These poor kids are going to be all alone. Goodbye for now. For now. Reach me like all right, where is... Um, who's next? Ah, go on. We'll talk to you first. The guy who is pretty much an asshole at first, but turns out he's Good probably evening, the best sir. doctor here. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. Your I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swanson's enthusiasm for hiring you. I what don't we need like here you, are reliable Reed. professionals 
Not overrated dabblers. You're awfully tall. Oops. <laughs> if you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Uh, I don't think that's really an... Yeah, it doesn't matter this one. Uh -huh. There is no there need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is oh, one point we asshole, could agree on. Actually, yeah. And that is precisely why I I'll want to be sure that, that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. I'll be a help temporarily, Since and then I'm going to be a major burden. Than mine. Perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness. Yeah, he seems to be more enthusiastic exactly about becoming a vampire. About? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money, fame, or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that I want to me? Everybody I here served to have in the, the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. Oh, is this one that matters, or is it not? Uh, nope, doesn't matter. Um, I don't see any reason why I should justify my actions to you. That's true, Dr. Reed. The only judge has to be yourself. The question is, are you judging yourself hard enough? Oh, very hard, yeah. It seems you have bad memories of your military. Service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Uh -huh. And I think that's that. Thank that you for that. See ya. Right, where's Strickland? There he is. Oh, yeah. Good evening, Doctor. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. Oh, <laughs> I don't you. need any ass and kissing you today, are, thank you. I am Thoreau Strickland, uh, Dr. Thoreau oh, Strickland. I forgot I need to... I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Why can't I? One second. Okay, and go to... Please, there. could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think this one matters. Um... Flattery is useless. You will obtain nothing from me by flattery, my young colleague. Oh, I was not flattering you, sir. Not at all. Just clumsily expressing my sincere admiration. I'm so sorry about that now. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me. 
but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. It uh, turns out what I know what causes this epidemic, and I well, don't think you're able to cure to work it. With Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain oh, about our capacity tests, to resolve the situation. Unless true, they're multiple true. choice, then they're at least, you know, Last a summer, better. during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. I would probably have to disagree with that. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. Option B. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. And money. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Tell me, Mr. Fiddick. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Yep, Goodbye. That's all I can ask him. We will go to... There is a, an awful lot of back and... Where the fuck did he go? It's Fiddick. Oh, there he is. Wait, what? Oh, there he is. I'm There's quite a lot busy, of back and right? forth in this game, so there is. Ah, there Tell go. me, Waverly. What do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Was this one of them? I think. No, I can answer anything I want. Uh, it's a conservative Other point of say view. That's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? 
I would because ask him if he needs a hand. If the surgery is a failure. Because I'm a bastard. Oh, God. I notice you're missing an arm there, Mr. Fiddick. Thank Fiddick. you, Fjord. Would you like a hand? Oh, 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 oh. oh, what's with the glare? Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Doc. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. I don't know, How did could you hear my line about the, give me a hand? Death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. I need to eat. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. You always knew the words to come. Uh, I'm terrible for those types of things. If he was missing a leg, I would, um, uh, I, I'd say that he barely had a leg to stand on. As I said, terrible. Uh, I think I spit them out. And by the way, uh, hello and thanks for the comment. I think most of the other hints that are in the strict... Not Strickland, uh, Swansea's office and through the quests. What was this? Okay, it doesn't want to pop up. Which one was Elwood again? Oh, that one. It's locked, all right. Ah, not too bad now. Uh, after work, so a bit tired, but um, giving this a fair shot now today. Try to get at least, at least to the second part where, what's her name? I can't remember anybody's names. I can, where is she? If you've played this before, have you played this before? Oh, thanks very much. Uh, what's her name? Dorothy Crane. She leads a, a, a part of the city. She's one of the um, these people in um, the second phase. And I fucked it up the first time I played it. <laughs> But, um, because they kind of, they tr they're a bit deceptive in this, so they're... Who's I going talking to again? I'm supposed to talk to fucking Thomas Elwood. Uh, you should. Um, if you've watched the first video uh, that I put out, some of the dialogue at the start is a bit clunky, I guess I you could say. But it's not too bad, it's kind of funny. And then the story, it gets quite good. But I think that some things in it are forced, and if you keep watching, you'll probably see what I mean. But obviously, if you don't want anything spoiled, then, you know, I understand good evening, that as well. Good evening. Uh, no. It's very, um... Why do you feel responsible for the injury? Story-driven, anyway. What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. On well, my first playthrough, I Dead tried not course. killing anyone. And the uh, hotel was a yeah, shit it, was, it was all right. It was on a harder difficulty. I'm it playing on an easier difficulty now because I just kind of want to fly through it without you trying to avoid going back to some the of the stress of That's some of the combat uncommon. because it can no. be quite stressful. To, it's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Oh. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. 
And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I think I remember this one. You can't hide forever. Yeah. You know you can't hide forever. One day you'll have to face your loved Come ones. Come on, be the right Until one. Until that day, you have no chance of real recovery. My friends all died it. in the trenches. It's shameful enough to be alive for these stupid scars. I don't want my children to see me like this. Hey, I got it. Oh, on the on the Xbox. That's a uh, the. The, oh Jesus! There's you told here. me before you don't. The want your the game pass is pretty handy, like actually. What is it? It's like fifteen you have any other euro a month or my something like that, and you get access to a, a, a pile died. of games. Uh, I've never had an Xbox, no but it's something on the agenda because like I kind of want to play the whole Halo series, and How they have all the Warhammer games and everything on there as well. The so. What do you think? But um, they PlayStation, they give away free month, free games every month. And um, I got this for free uh, a couple of months ago, but I never played it. Nightmares every so now that I've the PS5, I put me. it on that, on this, to play it on this, because it won't glitch as much. Because it can uh, sure she log you out but respect part way through quests and soldier. stuff, which and is kind of annoying. But on the PS5, it doesn't happen too often, Arthur. which is good. She may be a young, lot less than Cyberpunk. If you want to play a glitchy game, play Cyberpunk. She ever found out what really happened. She doesn't have to know. She's a sly one, my sister. One day she'll find out the truth and knock seven bells out of me. Nah. I'm better off here. I think that is all of his Goodbye hints for now. now. Mr. Elwood. Where is he? So yeah, I got all of his hints now. She's almost done. She'll get done quick enough. Yeah, I got all of his hints. She's got two more. I still have to get that guy. These two will show up later. Three out of five. I'm not doing too badly. Clay Cox is dead already. Here again. I think I have you. I should have something Good else. Good evening. Good evening. Good old Milton. Milton the blackmailer. Goodbye. We have quests here. So these are like side quests that you can do to unlock some stuff. Uh, let's see. This is a hard one because there's a boss there. I go to that one. <laughs> well, it's. Cyberpunk is a weird case. There are people who, I won't say they swear by it, but they do enjoy it. I hated it. Like, I, I like things with kind of good plot, good story, kind of uh, good characterization, choices. Like, I love Fallout New Vegas for those exact reasons, because New Vegas, your choices, they matter. And everything you do, like, and you can literally just kill anybody you want in that game and it has consequences on what's going to happen and future dialogue and everything mortimer goswick does uh, see that open so everybody can pause it on future nothing to much. hide his desire to die i could give it to his mother but doing so would betray his trust oh but i do love betraying people's trust um but in cyberpunk it's locked Jesus cyberpunk it gives you the deception of choice you know like it'll tell you it'll give you choices like you know to use your intelligence and stuff like that or whatever I can't even remember what the options are but they give you the same kind of dialogue as you would have picked it on not using your charisma we'll say and it's yeah, I hate that sort of thing because if you give me the deception of the choice, you got to utilize that and actually have kind of different branching paths, like what um, other games have been successful at doing. That just pissed me off. 
but some people do like it. it. It has some good moments, but I... No, not for me. Like Vampire, this is my second playthrough of Vampire. It's very good plot twist and turns. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like this is my second time playing Vampire. I'm actually playing it the second time in a row. So I'd already played it and I finished it yesterday and I started off then streaming uh, yesterday then as well. Uh, only for an hour though because I was almost dead after it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because I wanted to play through it the second time so that I would go through it and kill everybody. But the whole point of it is, uh, if you're wanting to kill people, you're better off... You're better off getting their blood level to a high rate, so you get the most amount of experience out of them. So... What the? Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Ooh. <laughs> Those two have hidden their affections well. Not really. I mean, yes, they have. Oh, who'd have thought? Dude, no, I don't have to go in there yet. Wait, so where the fuck do I have to go for this one? Oh, yeah, this is... Excuse me, this is the wallet. Uh, if you ever do play this as well, um, don't use the shotgun. Uh, keep the shotgun and the handgun. Keep your ammunition for a while. Try and buy um, sodium carbonite and... Um, carburetor, whatever it is. And um, There's something else. I don't have a shotgun to, to show you. But, um, eh, phosphorus, white phosphorus is the other thing. Because white phosphorus makes it more effective against vampires and monsters, and the sodium makes it more effective against human opponents. And there are one or two human bosses in the game, but most of the bosses in the game are monsters. Uh, so then they become good. So, uh, that. It, it, it helps, trust me. It helped me in the end game. Good evening, Mill. Good evening. Oh, wait. It's the green one. I, I have some wallet. good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. <laughs> with all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Oh, is yeah. I'm killing absolutely policy? everybody in this, this good. run. Please, and I have a key reason anyway, for doing that. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad minded as you um, come to read. There's probably the single most hand fisted love plot in this between this character and another character. And it's it's atrocious. It's so bad. So I wanna kill everybody and do everything kind of as negative as possible around her so that maybe I get a different ending. What's going on between I don't know you if I will, but I want to. Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. Yeah, because you'll end up, you'll waste a lot of shillings on ammunition. You do you'll waste a lot of... Uh, Hospital staff are it, not it doesn't meant to have stun relationships the vampires and on, the Reed. human opponents, so you know how many rules the stake is kind of one of the more handy ones just because to keep of it the fact that stuns. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. During the I'm war, over the I witnessed again. a few couples Sorry. just like you <laughs> come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? <laughs> Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. I swear to God, Tomorrow, if I go through this and I food. kill everybody and the the love plot still happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my hair out. Goodbye, Milt. <laughs> I'm really hoping, really hoping it doesn't happen again. Oh, 
Oh, she's over there. Pippa! And the problem evening, is, Master. I can't... Good evening, Dr. Ray. Most of these people I can't kill yet. What Even if I get their blood up, I can't kill them yet. I'll show you why in a second. Useful. I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. I and what about Milton Hobbs? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. <laughs> Something like that. Milton it's more of patients out you of their talk money to her what she, she was at, in Are the first you stream. So you meet her in the, yes, the first Is this your segment before where I am now. By and she's kind of rude no. with you. She's a vampire and she flips off. Of out of and this uh, life then she comes back all. later in this chapter. And Why you start you like, Why you know, not? being really Most of the sick nice with her and she's really nice dead. with you. And then we'll after soon. a day, she, like you're pretty Don't much you saying I love you and stuff. And she's like, oh, for fuck's sake, no. <laughs> Why? Oh, Jesus. Uh, mm. You put a price on hope. This goes against everything you swore to uphold as a nurse. Report me then, Dr. Reed. Report the little nurse and keep on lying about the surgical errors, the wrong dosages and diagnostics that we all covered for the sake of our colleagues. God damn, Pippa. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together, and I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first, even though Milton would say it was his to protect me um i think that is everything oh no Pepper, there's one more i know you're very close to milton hooks yes milton hooks is my man if you want to report me that, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Free, they live forever no and when it comes to love they move quick that's but are you damn true whenever it comes the to this say game i won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore but as I said in uh, previous we video as well, if the, the, the creators of Vampire, the they do watch I'm no these somehow or other, I'm not a Milton big streamer or anything, bloke. but if they do watch the videos, we do our best it is a good by. game, I do enjoy it, That's but any of us can you know, maybe, maybe put a bit more depth in your relationships. Uh, Goodbye, Nassau. Because if you don't, then you'd kind of wish that the relationships sail. That was bad. That was forced. I'm sorry. Um, I think that's everything to do with Pippa. Yeah, four, three. So their blood quality is going to be really, really good. But you see the, the head there that says three, the blue one? So that's the mesmerized level. So I only have a, a level one mesmerize. And every time that I do something involving these key people here, like uh, Edgar Swansea or Dorothy Crane or whoever's here, or Sean Hampton here, then I get a mesmerized level. And uh, yeah, so she's a three, a two, two, a five. How the fuck am I gonna get five? Oh wait, one, two, three, four. So she's gonna be literally the last person I'm gonna kill. Four, one, two, I could get him, but, hmm, actually yeah, I could get him. He's already done. 1,000 XP. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna do... Let's see Good how evening, we go. Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, but, again, maybe they, uh, maybe there is something here. If I do kill all these people, maybe that means that I don't get in the relationship or something. Now, I haven't done this before, so how do I do this? Oh, cool. So it's L2, L1. So where do I go with him? I have to follow this little stream. 
Nothing to see here, Pippa. Just keep walking. Keep walking. No one's here. Give me that experience. So this is how it ends. Farewell, my life. You betrayed me, good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, my, my hand was behind his back and everything. Not very inconspicuous. Pippa! Where are you? You saw too much, Pippa. What? Where, what's Pippa? Pippa's a three. I won't get to kill her for a while. Four, two... Hmm, Harvey Fiddick maybe, but I need Harvey Fiddick to solve these two. See, now he's gone. Okay, 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 so... Clay Cox I killed in the first one. Oh, and if they have, um, see, he's got this little thing here, so that means he's sick. He's got fatigue, so that will affect their blood level as well, and how much experience I get off of them. So it's best to cure them, sleep, and then get their blood off of them. Then afterwards. Oh, the hacksaw. Nice. Hacksaw was great. I used Hacksaw. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Oh, I was actually supposed Relegated to Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. I spent so much time talking to everybody, I didn't even come up here for the main quest. Yoink. Ooh, uh, 25 shillings. I am fucking rich. Oh, hold on, I should... Just so everybody can get a read of it. Why am I going backwards? Hold on. There. There. Perfect. That's loads of time for people to pause. This is where you analyze and create your stuff. And also serums, which I've actually, I've never even used a single serum in my previous uh, one as well. I think he's fatigued. Oh, what the fuck do I need? I need... Ah, oh, Christ. I think Wimbish I got most of blood it. blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. <laughs> yeah, the I'm more focused. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I'm more focused on talking to so people and unlocking all their now. stuff. Rather than... The main quest, so I got that one. This one, bring back the letter to Mortimer. Oh yeah, I'll do that one. Get that out of the way. Do, 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 do. I didn't kill anybody. Oh, that patient girl. just, he ran away or something like that, you know? Good evening, Miss. I'm okay. Uh, personal questions. I've read your letter, Mortimer. Oh shit, was you I supposed to do that? You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. Tell me more about it. There's nothing this guy's got say, a very really. positive attitude. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand what I feel. You know what? Fuck it. If I get them wrong, I get them wrong. We're only tempted to drink it because we're terrified by the uncertainty of the next minute. I know that perfectly, Doctor. For I waited for so long, hoping that the next minute would be less unbearable. 
Oh, okay, so that one didn't really matter too much. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. I don't blame her. She won't we have a, a guy out the back She'd who's the looting back corpses. We have a nurse and the the ambulance driver. We're blackmailing people. Assured, you're in Two good doctors here. are fighting Stop because one of them is doing Mr. Hyde experiments on it's people. Is your mother bothering you? And, um, As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone. One of the nurses is stealing That's supplies. Tempting, one of the no doctors is capable of. kind of he's using medication on himself so he doesn't have to sleep and he's fucking up his experiments. This is a pretty bad hospital. And I didn't even reveal the worst fact. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but it's me. It's a big spoiler, so I'm not going to reveal it until this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would yeah, be she's good right there. for both Look, of you. Thank she's you. She's watching us. Dr. She's like, what are you two talking about there? I'll think about it. Now please, let me be. Jesus, she's actually almost the tallest person in this hospital other than myself. I have to go... Good evening, Doctor. Uh, there, and... Oh, lots of stuff. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. So the blue text is I'm uh, Why did your son using so my vampirism, I guess, to I think it was more force them to tell the, the melancholy truth. facets of life. He couldn't Although help some people such seem things. to edge around the truth anyway. What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always oh, been sensitive, changed. so... He wouldn't talk to anyone for months <laughs> God, after They kind of have, passed. haven't they? It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. Yeah, I'm carrying everybody's sadness as well. That's why my eyes are like bloodshot the way they are. I have are. read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. So self-obsessed. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. Uh, I think that's the right answer. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have I considered that one many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Hey, got it. Uh, so I still have one hint left for her. Goodbye, Miss. Okay, he might Good have evening, something Mr. else. Good evening, Miss. Uh, yeah, he does. Your mother won't let you down, Mortimer. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. Oh, he still has to... one hint left, but I think I've unlocked enough to... Where the fuck is he? No, I need one more to get his blood quality up. He'll only give me a thousand, but... Don't waste your time with me. A thousand is better than seven hundred. thousand? I was hoping for like two or three thousand. Uh, right. So that's that quest. So I have her quest. And then I have to reach the pharmacy on that. Consider I'm... The difficulty I'm playing on. No, I'll do that one after I sleep, because that's a really difficult one. This one is this direction. 
there is obviously vampiric spells and stuff like that. I'll probably get to those soon enough. Because uh, the combat it kind of takes off a little bit. So it does once uh, once I sleep and er, as I progress through the game. Kind of. Also, you can feed on rats. Usually he says despicable or something though. Despicable. Where the fuck is the entrance to this place again? Oh, it's around the other side, I think. Here we go. Oh, don't forget to get that. There's one of Oh my god! Uh, also, whenever you vampirize somebody, uh, you get items and stuff off of them. Or keys, uh, stuff like that. So you can open up their chests and uh, search their little loot boxes and everything and if you don't vampirize them then you don't get the uh, you don't get whatever's in those chests which is quite unfortunate because I like loot okay well enjoy your food anyway and thanks for, you know, chatting and uh, for viewing the videos while I do appreciate it. Uh, who was I going to again? Oh, yeah, her. Kill anybody. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. Oh, Jesus, maybe How I shouldn't have killed your man. Because now she has nobody to talk to. Tell me, Zelma, what do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire here in London? Yes, oh, that's her third hand. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. Ah, uh, let's see. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. I'll leave you. Oh, shit. I was supposed to go into Good personal evening. questions. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, well. I'll leave you. See you later. What blood level is she? Damn it. So what do I need? Weapons upgrade. Oh, can I upgrade something? Lovely. And we'll upgrade the damage. So I need common parts. Need for that. Ferris. And sodium. Right. 
I'll see if I can find that before I go to sleep to at least cure Thomas. Was it Thomas? I can't remember. One of, one of those sick people. No, Thomas Elwood was the one that I've already killed. It's the other guy. Goswick, that's the one. Mortimer Goswick, that's the guy's name. Hello, fake doctor. Good evening. Please, of course. What do you got? Oh, he doesn't even have them. Tomorrow. Oh, the useless. Useless. Maybe we have something here. No. No, no, no. Damn it. Maybe these? More bodies will arrive. And then uh, I think I need to go to the morgue to get the supplies for that. So he's just going to have to stay sick for a little while. Until I can get enough items to, to cure him. That's fine, he's not gonna die straight away anyway. And I have until I get that nurse to the other area. All right, nap time. Also time to level up a little bit. Um, right, so I will do a little bit of hard biting. Okay, I'll increase my HP a good bit. Stamina. Uh, increase life regeneration. Blood capacity is probably going to be a useful one. Oh, wait, hold on. What am I doing? Jesus, I need to get blood barrier. Sorry, coagulation. What am I saying? Configuration. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Confirm. So I'm going to need all of those if I'm going to fight that, uh, the vampire in the other area. <laughs> Whoopsie. I've kind of I've lowered from healthy to stable by killing two people. Oh Jesus, they're serious? Oh god, I'm gonna have to get up there quickly. Oh, they're stable. No, Dyson, you're sick. Ah no, Dyson. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. What about my thirst for blood? Oh, uh, hello there. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. Two people are a missing. crisis, you say? <laughs> Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? Oh, Jesus Christ, no yeah, I forgot about that. 
You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? I need Fight bleach. Chance. Bleach this cures is the everything. And space <laughs> is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Please, please don't drink bleach. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It does not cure It's anything. the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. Sanitary reasons? The you mean it's infested with vampires? A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Oh, look, she had a big old smile on her face. She was so happy that I it's thanked her. It's locked, all right. She was like, oh, he thanked me. I feel so good about myself. I'm going to steal some supplies to give away for free. Honestly, she's the best doctor in this place. Let's be fair. Not now. Please come back later. Damn it, Swansea. I need to get in your office. Wait, what? Her mission is still on? Oh, I didn't realize. I thought I'd already done it. Oh, best get my ass over there. I should be able to get up to this district actually, unless things are locked, so I might do that as well. Oh, here we go. Oh. Level 12, while well, I'm level 9. This doesn't seem a fair fight, but let's give it a go. somebody the mistress of the dark will drink your blood who's saying that Come on, petty mortals. Come and face your <laughs> was there someone here oh there was watch out boy <laughs> What the fuck? What's she doing here? I don't remember this. Do you, do you want to stand up there? Are you alright, Miss Hapcroft? They were tracking me. Hunting me down. After the death of Thomas, they came to the hospital. They said I killed him. But you're oh, safe shit. Now. Those men won't bother you anymore, <laughs> I promise. Did you hear them? Okay. They recognized me as a vampire. I knew it. I knew it.
No. Those hunters would have made a huge mistake if they had killed you. I'm not crazy. I knew there was something wrong with me. I need to tell the doctors about this. Okay, so she'll... Right. I need to... I need, I need to, to... Jesus, that didn't happen in the other game. That's interesting. I like that. So my choices actually did something. So by killing the other guy, she left the hospital and the vampire hunters actually hunted her down. Huh. That is actually really interesting. Which means other people as well are going to have consequences. Oh, I'm very curious about this. Die, Bernie! No, you die, person. I used Pruin Steak. So that Pruin Steak, I think, is better than the one that I have. I just have a used steak. It's not the best one I'll get in the game, but it is a better one. And that's this quest. Oh, how did I miss that locker? that I need bullets really right now. Large box of pills. I wonder if that would give me the pills that I need for the, for the medication that I need. in there but I'll do that in a little bit first I'm trying to see if I can make my way up to the upper district the one where nurse crane is a, uh, a leader There's trash can here you gotta open every trash can very important trash is your friend not wrong with a bit of dumpster diving. You don't you never know what treasures you can find in a dumpster. It's one of them! Oh it's locked onto it's this guy here. How you die. Oh, I can't wait till I'm really powerful and probably everybody hates me because I killed all their friends and all their patients and all their doctors. So can't wait. I look at the posters in my own time. I don't think there's any relevance to the posters. Not 100% sure, but better to be safe than sorry. Ugh. <laughs> 
Everyone here. What's locked? Who the fuck is talking? It's ah. locked. Oh, it's from that side. Okay, so is this the place up there? Yeah. Oh, it's no. locked, all right. That one's locked. This one? No, this one's okay. Crash can. Thank you. There, I think I have to go to the other side where that gate is. Oh yeah, this place. Right, right, right. So there's a a kid over here, somewhere, and he steals his dad's medication. Fuck it all! Stop it now, Albert! Stop it! Oops. And his dad suffers from PTSD, basically from the war. And back there is where you kind of go and watch him unveil that he did actually steal the the pills. Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. You're a little asshole, aren't you? Did I kill somebody relating to him? What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Oh, what's his name again? Albert Palmer. Yeah, I want to get... I think maybe it'll probably be better for me to go into the uh, the morgue before doing this one. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar hey. with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Such a polite little gobshite. Excuse me, okay. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Ho 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 ho. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The oh, Red Boot okay. Boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Jesus Christ, I actually don't think I found that note, that note before. I don't think this one matters. You're being manipulated by these criminals. What's worse is that you're clever enough to know better. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Mugging people. Oh, so that was an investigation. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Goodbye, one. young man. Uh, or I must have done it before, but... What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. 
Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, Doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Just um, looking at up one second. Uh, da, da, da. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You don't have anywhere to go? No family that would welcome you? Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Trap. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the end, you see, and the boy just, just faked me last nerve. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors call me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, lock me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Um, it's yeah. a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. All right, got a hint. I think that's all I can do with him now. A gun? How are you? I'm not your... No, your boy, no piss off. Goodbye, young I'm glad you're not my boy. I'm not dying, some piss stinking worse than a weak old lappy. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go into the morgue first and do that. So I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll go back to the hospital, I'll enter the morgue, and I'll leave the stream there, and then I'll continue on uh, tomorrow. Getting late, getting tired. More and more and every night. Trash can, trash can. Yoink. When did you join the guard? Two days ago. I'm quite intrigued now because, yeah, since I drained Thomas's blood, she was out here. It it kind of changed the story a little bit, you know. Whereas if I would have done her side quest first and then drained Thomas, but well, done her side quest, oh, I wonder what would have happened if I would have done his side quest. Her side quest, sorry. And I would have waited to suck his blood. And then I killed her and him at the same time. Would the pre guard be after me then or something? Hmm. The morgue is this way, through here. It should be around this corner then. 
Oh yeah, because I, I did go here actually, so I did. And the good thing is the game saves whenever you open a door like this. I actually fucking hate the morgue. Uh, later on as well, there's a mission where you have to go here and oh my god, it's such a pain in the ass. It's a small enclosed area and you get ganged up on by a lot of vampires. Alright. Here I am and the game is saved, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thanks uh, Involved Walls 56 as well uh, for hanging out during the stream. Uh, nice chatting to you obviously as well. Uh, hopefully you tune in tomorrow for the next next one as well. But uh, listen, good night, and hopefully the rest of the week treats everybody uh, well as well. Bye now.